All right, we're with Tim. Tim is gonna teach me how to tie my belt. All right, so you got your first competition coming up. It's about time you learn how to tie your belt. So, um, simple rules to follow. Your gi goes left over right. Okay. Then you take the belt, and this is the most simple way to tie your belt. And I want to get, and I'm also going to give you a reason of why you want to tie it this way. So hold it out in front, just make sure it's basically even. Go right at your belly button. Go around, cross it in the back, and pull it out. Pull it somewhat tight. Now, so the gi goes left over right. Your belt goes right over left. Right over top of left, pull it tight, and then you're gonna tuck that under everything, under the whole thing, yeah. pull it out, pull it tight again, and now you bring left over right. And then just pull it through the hole, a simple tie, and just hang down. So you, you don't want it like that, it should be nice. There you go, perfect. All right, so if you go on YouTube, you can find a million videos that people will teach you how to tie your belt in a way that it'll never come undone. The reason you don't want to do that is because your belt is never going to help you. Okay? So, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's tie it again. So go around. Right over left. Pull it tight. And bring it back out. Left over right. And simple tie. Perfect. All right, so a um, couple things. If you're in a match, like I said, there's no technique you can use your own belt to do. But if I can get a grip on your belt and it doesn't come off, I can kind of throw you wherever I want. Whether it's the front, I can grab the front of the belt, and, like lift you up, I can grab the back of the belt and throw you. Um, so you, in general, you don't want your belt to be like locked onto your body, okay? Also in a match, a simple way to get a break if you're tired is like untie your belt. Just take your time. Some of my judo coach told me when I was like 16, he said, take your time tying your belt. Like drop it on the ground, pick it up, drop it again. Just take your time tying your belt if you ever need to catch a break. Um, so one of the main reasons I like to keep it simple, but also I don't want my belt to never come off. Like I said, your belt's never gonna help you. It's only gonna be a weapon for your opponent. Um, there's almost no technique you can do that will require you to use your own belt. Okay. Um, so that's it. And then uh, if the belt comes off during competition, uh -huh. do you have to reset or you keep going without a belt? You keep going. If, you, if your belt comes off during competition, you keep going. And that's a good, great question. No matter what happens in competition, you keep going until the ref grabs you and tells you to stop. Okay. Gotcha. You'll see a lot of people will lose matches. You'll even see the high level fighters will they'll get kicked in the nuts or poked in the eye and they'll stop and look to the ref. And while they're looking at the ref, they get knocked out. Um, so no matter what happens, you keep fighting until the ref steps in between you guys, stops you and tells you to put your belt back on. All right. Okay. So always stay focused on your opponent, not on your belt or your gi or anything like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The belt, the, uh, the rest will usually during a break, will get you to tie your belt again. All right. Awesome.